Good morning, welcome to a new update and today we're going to discuss uh, altcoins as altcoins are doing well in this market and you wouldn't expect it but the price is going up. Yeah, I mean three weeks ago everybody was ultra bearish and now everyone is hyped again. It's beautiful, life is great but today we're going to discuss altcoins and uh, some charts once again. Yesterday we went live with the company. We are now a new name, meaning that we're going to have a live stream tomorrow where I'm going to give away some dollars. And I'm also going to introduce you to the new company that we have. Um, so tomorrow at 5.30 Central European time, live stream time. Also, do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel beneath and like this YouTube update. If you enjoy the content, I'm going to post more than daily, more than daily updates on this YouTube channel, both technical market updates, fundamental, educational and potential interviews, or the interviews go to the business channel where we are have going to have discussions about the markets with traders, but also discussing projects with CEOs. So which altcoins am I currently looking at? And you should be knowing that I'm not too much interested in too many positions at this point. I've been taking profits substantially already which I'm also sharing in my platform. Uh, but there are still some very interesting altcoins at this point, which are barely moving. So you should be dividing the USD, DT value or USD value with the Bitcoin value, through which the Bitcoin values are still on rock bottoms. So that's what this update is about. There's still some very interesting altcoins you should be looking at, and we are going to discuss some. The first one I want to discuss is the graph probably one of the best projects out there um, didn't really have any cycle yet of course it was listed and it got a run uh, but since then the trend has ma mainly been going south you can see that we are making lower highs lower lows and we were not making any higher low at all despite the one we have here so what we're looking at right now is that we've got a pretty nice bounce on the graph and we are facing resistance so um, it's not clear that we're going to break through it. If we do, uh, you know that I'm interested in buying that flip. Overall, a swing trade in the graph is in general what I'm looking at. The levels that we're looking at right now for support or the potential trade to be happening is R2. So I'm looking at a flip here at 1750. If that doesn't hold, I'm looking at the lower zone around 1500. If I want to buy a swing trade, this is the entire range that I'll be looking at for entry points. What are the perspectives for the graph as a potential runner? Well, I think that given the fact that we're changing the uh, entire cycle towards a bullish one, the chances of it running towards 35 or maybe even the all-time high are significant. So this is the first one. The second one is skill which is currently still just hovering around support. And you can see we discussed yesterday about levels that we are looking at. In this case, we do the same. Level bounce in this run, um, lost the level, retests the previous high, bounces, and now it comes back towards support here. So my point of interest is still around this area, and this entire zone for skill is just an accumulation phase. Meaning, anything in this range is fine to buy for a swing trade. If it breaks out of here, you're going to look at a run towards the highs around 1450 and probably we're going to make new highs overall meaning that skill is going to be one of those big runners so this one is quite fine here too if we're looking at the uct value we can see that we're just heating up here so we can say okay we've made a bottom here we've tested those levels we bounced up we made a bullish diff running up facing resistance soon probably going to see something like this before we can continue moving but that is what I'm looking at. With most of the altcoins, especially also Swipe, you're going to look at that higher low structure. So the third one is one that I've been discussing previously as one of the point interesting altcoins, and it's doing massive. Despite the fact that if you want to buy Swipe, you shouldn't be doing it right now on the topic that I because of the topic that I discussed yesterday. So you don't want to enter an altcoin right now given the fact that it's, or at least this one, given the fact that it's approaching resistance. And yes, it can slam through the resistance and go to five bucks 
it still is not a swing trade. So if we look at the previous runner of swipe, we can see that we have also been running upwards heavily, not granting any entry at all. That's why uh, buying when nobody is interested is super, super important, given the fact that, for instance, we have been retesting it here too. Granting ourselves an entry while everybody was expecting the markets to crash. Well, it was already crashing and it granted you massive opportunity. So when we're looking back at the previous structure, the only entry you got here is this block. So in this case, we are facing resistance with swipe. So breaking through there is not expected to be happening. Where do you want to take the entry? This is the first real entry point that you are looking at or when it flips here, or when it uh, shows another significant support. So maybe around 290, but that's tricky. That's already the aggressive approach. So Swipe is one of the coins that I'm still heavily interested in, but not right now. I'm looking at a corrective move or a flip. The fourth one I'm still interested in is Silica. Um, it shows a lot of Aave. Aave did a similar structure in uh, 2020, ran up, corrected and then a real big run happened which cost about a 30x silica shows a little bit of the same structure and actually another one that i'm going to finish off with after this one is going to be the same structure first run consolidation fake run let's call it that way correction and now it's ready for the big runner once again so we can see that we are also flipping levels here and we're looking at a structure in which we hold around this area for a potential support test and then we can continue running for Zilliqa. Am I expecting a 30x on Zill? Well, could be, but I'm not expecting it to be happening. That's completely bollocks actually. But if we are going to get ourselves a new high, the chance of it going towards 700 sets or at least above a thousand are just quite normal to be expecting. The final one that I'm going to finish off with is Sealer, which I've discussed uh, many times on Twitter stating that it's close to a new run and you can see that we also have a very nice corrective move We've got a beautiful retest here slightly front run But we retest the high and now we are ready for a big new run on cedar as well Levels to look at around 85 sets is the first one you should be looking at what are the target zone next impulse wave 290 sets 460 sets and 630 sets which is uh, 3 to 6x from here in Bitcoin value. Those are the coins that I'm interested in. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube and I'll see you again tomorrow.